Good morning internet, this is a topic that I have a limited experience with and I'm in all honesty not very qualified to talk about. But I get a lot of questions about this so instead of answering all of those I'll just boil it down and tell you what I know and think. Firstly, if you're looking for the best martial art I would suggest you give up. As far as I know, there is no best martial art other than within a certain context. Like, it all depends on what you want to do. Do you want to learn real life self defense? Do you want to win tournaments? Is this more for your confidence, your discipline, etc.? If you want to learn grappling and ground fighting, you're not going to learn Mai Tai. If you want to learn how to punch, you're not going to learn Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Every martial art is designed for a specific purpose and context. You can be the best kickboxer in the world and still feel helpless when someone grabs you takes you to the ground and knows how to submit. That doesn't mean that you're bad at martial arts, it just means that that's not what you were trained for. It's not as simple as there being a hierarchy, you know, of like this is, this martial arts number one, this one's number two, etc. Most martial arts complement each other and, you know, as my trainer would say, every martial art is good within its own context, it's just that some martial arts are more practical for you or more suited for, you know, what you want to do. Secondly, and this sort of goes against this video, but don't just listen to what people say online. Go to any martial arts forum or comment section and you'll find people saying that A is the best martial art and B is completely useless and vice versa. The way I see it, there are three main problems here. One is that people are subjective and have loyalties to whichever martial art they follow. Two is that a lot of people on the internet don't really have experience but just watch videos, hear what other people have to say, take that and then defend it with fire. And three, at the end of the day, while some things are obviously more practical than others, a lot of it is, you know, also personal. Obviously, if you're a 300 pound guy, your style of fighting might be different from someone who is a hundred pounds. And last but not least, I would just say try stuff out. If you think a certain martial art would be good for you, find a good teacher, take a class, just make sure that he will teach you what's appropriate for you. You know, for example, tournament styles and street fight styles are often very different. And the only advice I can really give is that, as a rule of thumb, I think the best way to get good at something is to do that something specifically. A good example is that just learning techniques and drills doesn't necessarily mean that you'll be able to use them properly in a real life situation. If you want to learn how to defend yourself, for example, then just, you know, simulate the fight, spar a lot, practice it realistically. In the end, it's your body that has to get used to how to do this stuff, so there's really no shortcut. If you never spar, never do specific cardio, never actually get used to the fighting, all the technique in the world can go to waste in a real fight because you get out of breath. In the end, being good at martial arts is simply a matter of training. Like, you have to know that there are people out there who are probably half your size and half your weight who could probably beat you up. Not because they're tougher or stronger than you, but just because they know what to do better than you and they've conditioned their bodies to do it effectively. But that is kind of all I had to say for this video. Remember not to take anything I say for a fact. In fact, if you take anything away from this video, it should be that you shouldn't just go with what anyone says. Do your research, check your sources. This is really just what I think and what I can tell you. Leave any comments you have down below. Click the like button if you like this video. You can find my Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr in the underbar, and I'll see you again next time.